Yesterday you guys worked on arithmetic patterns again, and some of those use charts, all right? You had things like this. Um, you had these little t-charts, right? They look like that. And you had numbers on one side, like two, three, four, five, six. We'll tell you what we start. Oh, actually, let's do a one to make it easy. And we'll get rid of that box. You had this going on yesterday, right? And then you had to figure out the rule. And it was like, so the first one was three. And you had to figure out like, okay, well, what's happening here? How are we getting from there to there? What is going on? What is happening? Why is this happening? And basically you found the rule, you found the pattern to figure it out. And this one, it's times three. So you can figure that out by going, okay, well, one gets to three by one times three equals three. Two gets to six because two times three equals six. Three gets to nine, three times three equals nine. So you can see that the rule here is times three. And you can keep it going. What you're gonna get today is something a little bit similar, but also a little bit different. Rather than just giving you this fill in the blank and you have to figure out what's going on, we are giving you the rule and giving you an empty chart that you need to fill out. All right, so, for example, this is the first problem on your actual homework tonight, on your actual classwork. It says, Jake is saving quarters. He starts with five quarters in his container. He adds three quarters each day. Complete the T-chart to show how many quarters he has at the end of six days. So if he starts on day zero with five quarters, and he adds how many quarters each day? Well, let's reread it. Jake is saving quarters. He starts with five quarters. Okay, that's right there in his container. He adds three quarters each day. Okay, I'm going to underline that so I don't forget about it. He adds three quarters each day. Cool. Complete the T-chart to show how many he has at the end of six days. Oh, this isn't too bad. So he starts off with this. He starts here. He starts with five. And then he adds three quarters each day. So if we do plus three, what's five plus three? Very good, it's eight. And then we do another plus three. He adds another three on this day. We're at 11 plus three. The rule isn't really gonna change, it's gonna keep going. You could write the whole thing here and be like, okay, well we were at five plus three, it equals eight. Now we're at eight plus three, it equals 11. Now we're at 11 plus 3, it equals 14. And you're going to keep it going just like that. Does this make sense? Tomorrow we're going to take it up a notch and do multiplication with it. So make sure you're understanding what we're doing today. The hardest part about today is reading the word problem and understanding what we're doing. If you're having trouble with that, please remember to jump on Zoom and ask me questions. Reading the word problem can be tricky. That's the hardest part. The password for today is Kansas. I don't know why, because I want it to be. So if you need help with something, remember your password is Kansas and ask me. Um, this is how this one looks. Each of these is going to look pretty much the same, but it's just going to start with different numbers and have a different rule. All right. So like this one says Bella has $52 and saves $14 every week. How much money will she save in five weeks? Use the T-chart to find the answer. So then you use the T-chart and you're like, okay, well, we wrap 52 plus 14 equals, and that's going to go there. And whatever number is there comes down here to do plus 14 with, okay? Should be simple again. If you need help, use the password and ask for help. Okay, see you later.